Heidi, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just fine. Oh, tonight you are the lady in red. Hello, <laughs> lady. <laughs> Teacher, well, can I ask you something? Yes, yeah, sure. Tell me. It's that, that I think there's a mistake in the platform. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Give me just a second. Okay. Just a second, just a second. Okay. Now, let me know. Let's see the platform. Give me a second that I need to connect to it uh, so I can check it out better what you mean. Tell me the, the, the number of the exercise, please. It's 2.14. 2.14. Just a second, please, please, please. It's that the same exercise is um, in another homework and the other answer is correct and this one is not, and it's the same. Which, which number? I'm trying to find it. It's number two at, at the end. Typing recorded speech. I had the second part, the second one. Okay, the second one, the answer. She told me they went out last night. Or you can type, she told me that they went out last night. She told me that they went out last night, period, at the end. That they went out. Yep, that they went out last night. Let's see. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Let me see. Like this. Check it out in the shop. No, it's not the answer. She told me that they went out. No. And the same ex exercise is in another homework advanced, but in the other one, the answer is correct, and this one is not, and it's the same mixture. Try this one. I tried all the, oh, I tried all of them, believe me. Yeah, that one worked the night before. Another option could have been this one. She told me that they have gone out the night before. That's the one I typed. Mm -hmm. That's the one I have typed and it didn't take it. That's weird. Yeah, because in my case, I can, I can see all the different options. Uh, okay. Well, but we solved it. We solved it. Thank you very much.
Hello, how are you? Me? Yeah, you. Ah. I'm still talking to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, um, I'm kind of worried. Worried? Why? Yeah, because um, because of business. I'm waiting the the credit department to, ¿cómo se dice aprobar? Approve. Approve my credits, my my credits. <laughs> Not uh, my credit, my 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 customers' credit. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, I'm one of those customers. In my case, I'm waiting for them to approve me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, actually, it's most probably. Sorry. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Most probably, I'll I'll get it, but ah, uh, you know, the process is tedious. Yeah, I know. And, and an important amount. So, oh, really? Makes yeah, me feel so. anxious. Yeah, I know, I know. I understand you. My, my, actually, my sister in law, she works for a bank, and my, her husband also works for another bank. And they are like that every month. It's complex. You know, I feel like that, but I like it. Yeah, yeah. But in the case of my, 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 my let's see, my sister-in-law's husband, he's trying, he's thinking about switching banks, switching. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, he wants to, to go try it on another bank. He's thinking about it because he works for a bank and it's kind of complex there. It's, hmm. This bank, what is the name? Atlantida. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the case of my sister-in-law, she's happy where she is. She works for Agricola. Mm -hmm. but no, I, was, I have only worked for Cuscatlan my whole life. I haven't yeah. worked any anywhere else. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So they, they changed name and, and administration and you were still there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's nice that's yeah. pretty nice i mean uh, to be still in in one place in my case wow i have moved a lot because i work i have worked for private schools public schools universities and academies mm -hmm. and well here with Insaforp, I've been working like for four years now. And I worked 10 years for Garcia Flamenco. Oh, really? I, at the same time, was I was also working for uh, Don Bosco. I also worked for uh, Pedagogica. And I Not worked- experience. Uh, yeah, and I also worked for uh, Catholic school. That was fun. Hmm. I know. Yeah, so, yeah, in the case of the one that the Catholic school I was working with, it was cool because I there I had the opportunity to work with uh, with many Americans, fellows, you know. Oh, really? Which school uh, is yeah. it? Well, it's in, actually it's in a town in La Libertad, in a town called Chilpipan, so, uh, there were many, many missionaries there. So uh, I was working with uh, Americans for five years. The priest was an American and it was cool. It, it actually him. helped me. It actually helped me a lot to improve my English because I mean, I was, I was not just working with them. I was living with them <laughs> those five years. Yeah, literally, because I used to, I mean, I used to come home just once a week, one day a week. And then go back. Sometimes I used to come here just once a month. And just yeah, for really? one day. Yeah, most of the time I spent it there. So it was a very nice experience. I mean, in La Libertad, me was it was it La Matepec? No, 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 no. It was a Catholic school. 
oh, really? a public Catholic school, but they really? had a lot of a lot of help from the from the government, from the from the uh, uh, from a community from let's see, Indiana, no, yeah, and also from Boston, Massachusetts. Interesting. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, it was a nice experience, and as I told you, it it actually helped me a lot to be in contact with that type of English and also because it was not uh, regular and I mean straight English, also academic. I mean, I was Informal. talking with, yeah, I was talking with professionals all the time. So it was cool. It was I wish I had that opportunity. I will someday. Yeah, sure, why not? And I mean, uh, it helped me because I mean my my English before that wasn't that bad, but was a different type of English. I mean not uh, not strict English, but uh, not that formal. Mm -hmm. Not that formal. So it's good. I mean sometimes uh, you realize so how good the the experiences you have had in your life how good they were until years after. In my case, uh, I came to realize that at the moment it was like, I mean, it was my everyday routine. But uh, now in retrospective, I mean, I, I started thinking about it and I realized that it was, I mean, it was a chance that not almost anybody got it here. Yeah, I know. Nice chance you had. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, at the time it was, at the time it was fun. Believe me, it was fun. I mean, I really enjoyed it. And now, well, now with all those years on my back, I come to realize that uh, it was a learning experience. Mm -hmm. The only similar opportunity I had is when I attended, I told you already, I attended a Humber High School when I was a freshman. And okay. it was interesting too. So you were a freshman in high school. Where were you? In a Humber High School in LA. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, LA. What part of LA did you tell me? Uh, I used to live in uh, Monterrey Park. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I know That's it was a very nice experience. Yeah, and, and actually it was a nice part of LA. Mm -hmm. I attend only a year. Then I came back. Yeah, but that part of LA is cool. I mean, at the time it wasn't that, it wasn't to problems, no. Because I mean, back in the day, some high schools in LA were they really had trouble with gangs and stuff. No, but that was a long time ago. I was 15. It wasn't that a long while ago. Come on, Heidi. A I am years pretty ago. close to you. <laughs> I am pretty close to you. Don't tell that, please, please. <laughs> you know, people here is looking at us like, man, grandpa's talking. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, cool. Nice talking to you, Heidi. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Frank, how are you? How are you, teacher? Fine, very fine. You are now in Salatina? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, hey, yeah. I'm here. I'm here in Las Pilas. So yeah. fresh here. <laughs> yeah, you know, you are you are not my favorite person today. <laughs> why, why? Because believe it or not, I got a, a pretty strong fan in front of me and I'm okay. sweating. And I, I don't feel hot there? Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> and okay. it's bad. It's bad. And the worst thing is this, I'm, I'm just arriving from the gym, so I'm still like hot. Yeah, 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 got it. Yeah, but, well, here, here is totally different right now. I mean, 
yesterday was too hot there in San Salvador and now it's totally different. And now today you are like, yeah. okay, this is cool, this is life. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good because you're gonna sleep uh, nice, fresh. Yeah, very well. Yes, I'm thinking to wear a sweater right now because... Oh man, don't do that in front of me. <laughs> come on, Frank, come no, on. No. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm you just know, kidding. everybody's like, right now is like looking at you like, man, what? this Frank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. But, but yes, yes. It's a little bit cold here, but it's uh, like, I don't know, agradable, teacher? Yeah, it's comfortable. Uh, it's it's yeah, fresh, it's just fresh. Fresh, it's just fresh, yes. Better oh, than, than there. Yeah, better than, being, better than being here, yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, yes. Because here right now, it's, oh, it's getting interesting, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so tell me, when are you coming back? Uh, I think that Friday at afternoon, yes. Friday maybe, afternoon. Yes, maybe about 6 or 7 p.m. I will be there in San Salvador again. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you will feel... You will feel the difference. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I I finish very tired when I travel to there. Not not just for the for the drive, but I think that for the change of weather too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, yes. It, I mean, it makes a big impact. Yes, it's a, it's a big change of temperature. Yeah, of course. Right. I, mean, I mean, it it affects even your mood. When you feel that yeah. that swift changes, it literally affects your moods. And I mean, yes. in my case, what happens when the days get like this is that I get that thing, how, I don't know how is it called in English, uh, modorra. Yes, yes. Yeah, I know. And yeah, I finish. mean, it's, let's see, the closest we could say that in English will be uh, this word. Let me get it for you. Drowsiness. Drowsiness, okay. Yeah. Drowsiness. I mean, I, when it gets too hot, I start like sweating and I get like sleepy. Yeah. Like low battery, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean. It affects me. Believe me, one of these yeah. days last week, uh, actually, I had to. I was teaching this class, uh, and I had to get. Uh, uh, I had to take a lot of sugar in order yeah. to to wake <laughs> really? up because I was like, yeah. yeah. And, and it's funny because I mean, uh, I'm a night owl. I usually go to sleep around midnight or one a.m. Yeah, I know. I know. Like uh, like today, as soon as we finish here, I still got uh, some work to do, some reports to do from my Saturday morning job. So, uh, and I need to present those reports tomorrow. So I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay for a couple of hours, finishing it, finishing and polishing it up. And yes. I have to. So I mean, I'm used to it. That's my and, my daily routine. And you sleep about. How many hours a day? From five to six. From five to six on a regular day, on an average day, yeah. Okay. You don't wake up like a little bit with, with I don't know, sleepness or? No. Sleep, actually, sleep. no. Actually, no. You know what happens to me? If I sleep more than six hours, the next day, I'm like, man, I'm sleepy. Uh, I feel okay. uncomfortable. Yeah. The same <laughs> happens to me if I take a nap. If I take a nap yes, during yes. the day, man, it kills me. I mean, if yeah. I sleep like half an hour, man, after that, I'm sleepy. I feel weak. <laughs> I don't know. My body is kind of crazy. 
<laughs> okay. It's happened the opposite thing that the usual, uh, as yeah, usual. I, yeah, you know, I envy. There's some people that they can go to sleep a couple of hours during the day. Yes. And yes. at night they feel nice, no problem for sleeping. Yeah. If I do yeah, that, I, I need to take I need to take something for sleeping. Some like candy or oh, or, or for sleeping. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Sometimes I need to take a pill or something. Mm -hmm. And you know, on a regular okay. day, on a regular day, I have a cup of coffee around midnight. I just have a cup of coffee, brush my teeth, go to sleep, and I sleep nice. Doesn't affect you for sleep. <laughs> Actually. A cup of coffee uh, sometimes relaxes me a lot. Yeah, that happens to me a little bit. But I don't drink coffee too late at night. Maybe about 9 p.m. It's okay for me, but uh, more than that, uh, that's affect me a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. But I am uh, oh. a coffee lover too. As you, I drink about four or five cup of, cups, cup, cups of, coffee, of, of coffee during the day. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can drink coffee uh, about 12, 12 p.m. And no about, problem. Uh, and I, and with, with the hot weather, right? Yeah. I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Well, yes. welcome, Frank. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Anna Claudia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm doing fine. I'm okay. Oh, how's everything? Tell me. How's well, tricks? Uh, hmm? How's tricks? Uh, my house fixed well. Today they were completing the, the ceiling, but they're still missing to add some I don't know if the correct word will be nails, clavos. Yeah. Okay, nails. Because some of the structure, when the, it's a windy day, they are moving. <laughs> we have some of them in the kitchen that they are thinner than the other ones because they are clear, like the ones you use, utilize for, for lamps. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, they will complete the task until Monday. So they won't be working neither tomorrow or Thursday or Friday. They will be- The rest of the week. Yes, the rest of the week. They will be finishing uh, the remaining things, detailed things on Monday. And that will be it. Mm -hmm. But at least we can complete the cleaning here in my house. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Yes, yes that's the best part. Okay, cool. But everything is going very well. I'm trying to reach my revenue goal in my job, I'm not really sure I will do it. That's great, that's great. I mean, the, the very first thing you gotta have is a good attitude. Oh, yes. Yes, I must believe that things are gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, things gonna work out okay for you. Thank you very much, Anna Claudia, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I saw some faces that were like, what? When I asked uh, Anna Claudia, how's tricks? <laughs> that expression means, uh, como van las cosas? ¿Qué tal todo? Okay? That's another way of reading. Okay, when you ask somebody, how's tricks? The origins of the word uh, is not that good. The, the, the history of that phrase is not that good because that was asked uh, the beginning to the ladies of the streets. Oh. Yeah, that's the history of, of the phrase because they they used to play tricks to their customers, you know, in all England. But now when you ask someone house tricks, you're asking, uh, how's everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, but that's all. Yeah, but that's old fashioned people like me. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Guys, let me get the attendance before anything else happens because internet connection is giving problems to a lot of people. 
It's been crazy today. Ada, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Ascenso de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Corneco. Present teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. And Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. No here yet. Okay, guys, today let's see. We have the conversation part at the beginning, then around nine something. I'm going to explain a little bit of grammar from the manual, a little point that we already checked on the presentation last week. We're going to still talk about uh, reported speech. Today we're going to focus on the questions, how to report questions. Then we are going to do some exercises of speaking, having conversations one on one and as a group. So it's going to be interesting. Let's continue. So I still got time for this part. Let's see who else is around. Hello, Henry. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? How are you? I'm, I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, same old story as usual. Just routine. Tell me, how was your day? Oh, really? Uh, my day was too busy today. My work. I went, I woke up around five o'clock in the morning, and I went to twenty minutes past five to my job, and it was so a big day to work today, and. Today, my neighbors is working, building his house with the machinery and they are, they are doing uh, so loud sound. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Noise, noise, you can say noise. Yeah. And, and, ah, okay, noise, <laughs> I'm sorry. And just that. Okay, machinery. That's the word, machinery. Okay, well, thank Excuse you. Excuse me? Henry. Machinery. That's the word you were looking for. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you. Now, let's see. Ileana. Hello, Ileana. How are you? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Um, Good evening. Very, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Um, and what about you? How are you? Oh, what can I tell you? A little bit tired, but that's part of the game, you know? Yes. I'm a little tired, too. I had a, a, a very busy day today. And, uh, in the morning, I, yeah. went, I went to the central offices of my job because I had to work uh, in a, I don't know how to say, Activo Fijo. Oh man, I remember I was using that, those expressions the other day for more class. Like, yeah, but I remember. Fixed, fixed assets. 
I think. Yeah. Fixed asset. Yeah, fixed asset. Fixed. Fixed. Because fixed. you gotta pronounce it like this. Fixed, fixed. asset. Assets. Okay, I was working on the uh, fixed, fixed, uh, fixed, fixed, fixed assets asset. report. Yeah, because uh, we have some stuff that that we don't use anymore. So, uh, if I want to send uh, those things to our central, I don't know, is that the correct word? Warehouse, bodega, yeah. almacén. Yeah. yeah, to our central warehouse, but that, by the way, are is is on San Martin. Oh, really? Yeah. If I want to send those things, I have to to do the the report. Mm. So I was working uh, all the morning on that, and after that, I came back uh, to my office and bought uh, my my lunch. I ate. A uh, very delicious Big Mac. Okay. Yes, and after that, I had to eat a little faster because my boss uh, he had a, a meeting. We now. I had to eat. I had to eat. I had. Yeah, I had to eat. Have to eat. Okay. Had had H A D H A D yeah. had. Okay, thank you. I had. To eat a, a little faster because my boss had a meeting with our, one of our central no, regional directors. So I had to prepare all the things and documents and some some stuff that that he said to me to prepare for him. And I was kind of busy day. And after that, I was working on all the things that I didn't in the morning. So, yeah, it was a, a very- You had a beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of complex when we have a day like that, but the good thing is this, that you are home already and you can relax a little bit. Tell me, what time did you finish working today? Uh, around six and a half. Okay, hmm, a little bit late. Yeah. And what time did you arrive home? Uh, well, I arrived at my home around, um, I don't know how to say, almost almost at seven o'clock. Around seven? Around around seven o'clock. But uh, I, I, I don't know how to say, I took my dad to dinner, so we ate fast. And okay. I'm here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so all day you've been like running all around. Yeah, kind of. That's good. That's good. Well, thank you, Elena. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's see. Marcos. Hello, Marcos. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Uh, how, how are you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, same old story as usual. Tell me, what about your day? How was it? Um, my, my day? Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit uh, cold, um, not not much work, uh, normal, I, I could say, but um, as I had work from home, the days, the afternoon gets really um, tired to me. Oh, the, yeah. uh, the weather is so hot and, and yeah. I don't have air condition. <laughs> I just have yeah. the phone and not, not worth that much how I would like to prepare. Yeah, of life. course. I mean, the, the weather doesn't help when we are in those conditions. Yeah, yes. Uh, that's why I, I, I really want to go to the beach in the weekend, if I can. Oh, really? Yes. I would really, I really like beach. to. You know, I, I have always thought that it's a, an anachronism that we usually go to the beach when it's hot. And man, the beach is hotter. But yeah, that's, that's the way we do it. And, and I mean like, man, going to the beach when it's hot. 
uh, we usually uh, visit cold places when it is cold. So it's for me it's kind of uh, uh, funny to think about it that way. But that's the way we do it, right? Yeah, that's our culture. Yeah. It's funny, it's funny, but as I told you, that's that's just the way we are, the way we behave. Hey, Marcos, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Uh, uh, Rebecca, hello, Rebecca. How are you? I'd say, hmm, perhaps Rebecca is still going home. Let's see who else is around. Jacqueline, hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How's everything? How was your day? Tell me. Um, well, my day was uh, very busy. I had a meeting with my coworkers and my boss. And after that, we have to order some documents that that <laughs> and well after that I came to my house at seven uh, half past seven and I prepared dinner to my family okay and, what well, did you prepare for dinner tell me for dinner I prepare um beans uh, cheese cream and also plantains, fried plantains. I don't know if that correct. Plantain, plantain. Plantain, plantain, thank you. And some coffee to drink. Okay, a very typical dinner. That's yes, cool. a typical, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what time do you usually have dinner in your family? Uh, around seven, around seven. Okay. Yes, early. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, pretty, pretty early. I mean, for yes. me, it's pretty early. I always have dinner around 10.30. I mean, I usually have dinner when I finish this class. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> well, I don't know, uh, but yes, I know some people do that because of the time or the schedule. But in my case, I try to do um, that every day because I have three children. And they yeah. uh, go to school from Monday to Thursday. And, and, and kids they, are very demanding when it comes to food. I, exactly. And I try to, well, they try to go to sleep at um, nine o'clock. Say what? At nine? Nine, nine o'clock, yes, because uh, they get up at... Um, they wake up at 4 and 10 a.m. Very early. Yes, they need to sleep around eight hours. Yeah. It's a heavy schedule, the one you get. <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> it's my routine from Monday to Friday. Uh, um, in my case, weekends. you won't make me. You won't make me follow that schedule. I couldn't. <laughs> Why not, teacher? I mean, I'm too used to 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 have a pretty different schedule. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for asking me, teacher. Thank you for answering. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I still got time. Yeah, I still got time. Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Um, oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. 
I thought that you couldn't listen to me for my headphones because they have, um, I don't know, how can I say, like, falso? Yeah, they're they are they're they are cutting out. Uh, they are, yeah, they're they cutting are... out. Okay, perfect. But I'm okay. I finished to I finished my dinner a few minutes ago and today was my day off. So I started doing some cleaning in my bedroom <laughs> and washing clothes and seeing not watching some anime series and most of that I just clean my house. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. So tell me, what what time did you have dinner today? Around around eight. <laughs> Most of that. So you just had dinner. I had dinner. Yeah, that's cool. What was there for dinner? Uh, I ate uh, beans with avocado and bread <laughs> only that and some soda or and yes only that i soda. didn't eat it. Mm. yes so, well we have orange juice but my mom likes to to drink some orange juice so i prefer to take soda no to drink soda you know it's weird in my case i don't really like soda and why well first of all because it's not good for my health yes. i got a big yes. i it's funny you know i got a big gastritis and i drink tons of coffee no problem i drink a can of soda and man i'm suffering <laughs> yeah well here in my house is normal to drink but i know it's not good for our health but we usually drink soda on our lunch. So we always have soda on the refrigerator. In my house, well, my son drinks soda, but usually uh, he drinks a weird soda, uh, sugarless, you know? Mm, no, I don't know what kind of, uh, of zero, soda is uh, that. Yeah, the light one. Oh, I mean, the light soda. Yeah, that's no soda. I mean, the, the funny thing about soda is drinking a lot of sugar, but soda without sugar, I mean, it takes funny for me. Yeah, I, I, I think it's kind of the same soda, but I don't know, it tastes um, a little bit different. I don't know what it is, but maybe the sugar, but... Um, okay, and, and tell me, Stephanie, what do you like, uh, Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. I love Pepsi. Oh, okay. Well, you're you're one of mine. You're one of mine. I don't like Coke. No, we need it. <laughs> we need it. I don't it's like Coke. Me. We we just me. drink Pepsi here. Uh, when when we don't find Pepsi, well, we have to drink Coke, but we prefer Pepsi all the time. Likewise, I mean. In my case, if I if I drink soda, I drink Pepsi, or yeah. or a flavor one, but no Coke. Yeah, well, this is a funny s s store for for us. I mean, for my sisters, because we preferred uh, Pepsi because when we were young, we saw a uh, uh, I <laughs> oh my God, an, I forgot how to say. Yes, I know in the in the television. I don't know if you know this uh, band that the name is One Direction. So they they make this now about Pepsi, Pepsi, and when we when we saw that now we started telling you our just, fathers. <laughs> you just you just ruin Pepsi for me. But we prefer. <laughs> you're and you're killing me here. You are killing me here. <laughs> I told you that it's a funny story. The, yeah, the beginning boy, for the Pepsi. <laughs> boy bands, boy bands are not really my thing. 
Yeah, I know, but in that time, they were so famous. I remember, so uh, in that time, uh, the facts okay. in Cole made a lot of now. <laughs> okay, now I got a phrase for you. At, at the time, at or the time. at that time, yes. You don't, you don't say in that time, you say uh, okay. at the time or at that time, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you. At the time, at the time. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. I still got time for one more. Who is it gonna be? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amber, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm just fine. Just fine. And tell me, how was the day? Was it a good day for sales? Mm, actually, no. <laughs> I have a another day slow for sales, but. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't have a lot of calls. Um, I didn't have a lot of clients, but I hope tomorrow will be better than these days because my my week actually was very bad. Oh well, let's hope next one gets better. Yes, I hope to. <laughs> yeah, you know that happens sometimes. I mean, we have. Good days, sometimes we have bad days, but things in the end they will come up okay. Yes. And another day is uh, my, I don't know, my days was very good, but this week, no. But, but I have. Uh, I don't know. How do you say faith? <laughs> faith? Faith. I have faith in the next days. Okay, well, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for asking, teacher. No, thanks to you for participating. Always good. Okay, guys. Now I got questions. So we're going to talk but we are going to talk uh, in groups. Now, this question is inter interesting. We are going to keep on on yesterday's topic. Yesterday, we were talking about age. Do you remember? Oh, well, we were talking about old people. That's some of us. But the question tonight is different. Now, what's the best age to be? Some people said that the best moment in your life is when you were a teenager, but uh, for some of us being a teenager was, was complex, right? Because we had to uh, we had to study a lot or perhaps some were working. Perhaps for some of you, it was better when you were in your 20s, in your early 20s. Some of you are still in your 20s, so for some of you who think that this is the best age for me. So what I want you to do is to discuss about that question. What's the best age to be? What do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna get you in small groups. Let me check out just a little something. I need to move one of you. No, things are cool. So groups are open. You're going to have five minutes. Please go jump in. Let's talk about it.
is the best uh, one, maybe five years would be the best. For me, the best one is the one I'm currently living. But every because you have, you have a money. I'm sorry? Because you have a money now. No, no. It's because... oh, yeah, yeah. She's got money. She's got money. Oh, yes. L let's say I have money. <laughs> no, let's not say. It's a no, fact. That oh, that I, oh. That maybe... I hope that's a prophecy. <laughs> Yeah, maybe the best, uh, the best age, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, age. It's maybe when we are, we were uh, too younger, but Ooh. now we have money, and we. You do, man, cool. <laughs> but maybe um, in the past you need us. Ask to your father for money. And now you just need to check your bank account and decide if you need to buy or not. In that part, yes, I can say yes. But in, I, I'm, in my case, I've been living a happy, I think, in my life, every season of my life, every, every stage, because when I was at uh, in the college at school, I'm sorry, I I had different uh, happiness. Uh, being at the university, they were different, but I was still happy. And working, yeah, you need to find out the best way to live. But I, I think for me, every age uh, you are in the current age you are every year is the best one. Yeah, well, for me, without money, the university. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I spent a lot of time at the university because I was, uh, I was, como se dice, becado teacher. Oh, I had, I was on a scholarship. I was on a scholarship, so I need, <laughs> I needed to organize my time for classes and instruction, in, no, instructor. So you were under pressure, Roxana. Sorry? You were under pressure because as far as I understand, when you ha uh, have a scholarship, there is like a gray, you yes. must, mm -hmm. Rich. So, so you yeah, were I'm... under pressure, you were stressed because yeah. you had to maintain. Uh, Oh, yeah. Like, uh, uh, oh yeah, to maintain, to keep, to keep. To keep. Okay. <laughs> what is the difference in maintain and keep? I don't know, but it's different. Maintain is the in this case is, like... yeah, in this case is, is keep. Ah, okay. So you have to keep good grace and good stand, to be in good stand, it will be okay to say? Yeah. And all the time I needed to stay at the university, you know, because we we had um, like a social uh, programs. Mm -hmm. So we can't work in a different company, but we have some um, social yeah. programs and yeah, and it's like a work, but into so well you were the like returning the investment they are doing in, in you with you i guess yeah yes. for me the best the best age maybe is that time around uh, 18 and 22 18, years 18, old, right? 18? 18 18 no 18? No, de, de los 18 a los 22. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18 it's because sound like 80. 80 is 80. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you are not 80. And now I think that it's totally different because uh, I was telling you that we have some money and we decide how you can spend. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Yeah. It's... it's each uh, area or each time is it's, it's okay 
is a special. Mm -hmm. And Susana, what about you? Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's a, it's a teenager. Mm, okay. Was I was a teenager, <laughs> but I don't, I didn't, I didn't problems. Um, I, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't. Um, uh, do you mean that you weren't a problematic person? Mm, who knows? Who knows? No, I, I'm pretty sure she was calm. It's a problem. It's a, a the work, the 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 lunch, long deuda. How do you say deudas? Uh, <laughs> Longs, deuds, deuds, ah, longs or deuds. Mm -hmm. Only ah, my. You say that now. You have longs or deuds. What? In that time, you didn't have devs. And yes. now you have. In teenager, in teenager no. <laughs> I, I, I was understand uh, what my life debía. Sorry, teacher, debía. Should. 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 Different. With should my be wife, different. should be different. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Should be different, and it's very important for me. Eh, eh, compartir, share, 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 share the the life with with my family. Is other other age. Sorry for the ta for take. More minutes. Don't worry. And what about you, Ramon? What do you think? What's the best age to be? Uh, to me, I think uh, my best age, it was uh, 21, between, between 21 to uh, 27. Yeah? Why? Yeah, because um, in this age, I I start to to work in a in a company in a in a company to in a company with a um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 hello, Heidi. Tell me, what's the best age for you? Well, Ada and I both of us think that being a kid is the best age of all because you spend your time playing, eating, hanging out with friends, and you don't have to worry about anything, paying bills or paying the house or anything. The teacher is gone. No, no, I'm here, I'm here, I'm listening to you. So <laughs> okay. being a kid is the best for you. It's the best for us. Okay, cool. Interesting. Now, Heidi, pick one of your classmates and ask them and ask him or her, please. Hi, Eliana. Hi, Heidi. Uh, which age do you think is the best? I think that the twenties, but no, the early, the earliest twenties. The early twenties. The earlier twenties. The early. I think that the early, early twenties. Okay, thank you. I think that twenty-five. I don't know how to say it. Hacia, hacia adelante. From twenty-five on. From 25 on maybe 30, 32, 33, because I think that maybe in, in that age, uh, we have 
more independence from our parents because maybe we, in my case, uh, I started to work at my 20s. So I really enjoyed this age. Uh, even now, I, I really enjoy uh, going out with my, with my friends and I have some money to share with my parents. And yeah, I think that the 20s uh, are the best age to be. Okay. okay. Eliana, your turn. Pick one of your classmates. Okay. Let me see. Susana. Okay, hello. Susana. Hello. So, hello, Susana. Good evening. So, what do you think? What's the best age to be? Um, for me, my best age um, to be is. I was teenager. Tell us why, why? Share us some experience or something. But it's a, uh, um, oh, I, I only, oh, correct. I only, no, I didn't, I didn't have, um, Problems. <laughs> um, only responsibilities. Responsibility. <laughs> responsibility. Big responsibility. <laughs> uh, so you were just having fun. Okay, that's great. That's great. Thank you, Liana. Thank you, Susana. Welcome. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Ramon, what about you? What do you think? What's the best age to be? Ramon, some problems with the microphone. Let's ask Jose Smith, what about you? Uh, okay, so I can say that the best age was when I was in the year, so around like, I don't know, when I was at, the, at the high school, so it was a really, was a really nice age so on those in those times so because i enjoyed that time without any preparation so like paying some bills or probably so in in this case right that i that i'm really worried so about to uh, yeah everything to, yeah and connect to work right because it's really nice to take a rest so before I before I connect, right? But sometimes, so sometimes it is not possible. Yeah, so and I, I don't want to do that, right? And, and I was talking with my partners, so that that age was really nice because I enjoyed the games. So and also that without <laughs> permission. I went no. to several places and that experience so was really funny and nice experience. Too. Okay, thank you. Fernando, hello Fernando, what about you? Tell me. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, oh, I share the, the, the same feeling that um, more of my partner because uh, my best age was my when I was a teenager, my adolescence, right? Yeah. Okay, my adolescence, uh, because you know the reason I have no debt, I have no responsibility. Um, I didn't have to carry a company in my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I had a lot of fun and, and certainly I really enjoyed the, that egg. I miss that egg. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I understand. Yeah, sometimes I think my 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 best age maybe doesn't come yet. Okay, well that's cool. It could be when I am yeah. retired. So maybe it will be a best age for me. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Now look, 
One word that perhaps could, you could have used is that you were carefree. 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 Despreocupado. Oh, okay. Carefree. Okay. Yeah. At that time, you were carefree. I mean, you were like, whatever, no problems. Cool, thank yeah. you. Now, Fernando, pick one of your classmates. Uh, one of my classmates. Nicolás. Okay, Nicolás. cool. <laughs> He's quiet. Hey, hello, Fernando. Hello, Nicolás. Hey, good evening, everybody. Okay, I'm fine, Nicolás. Okay, hey. what, what's the best age to be for you? Well, I think, I, I, I think the best age are different different moments uh, for example at uh, 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 20, 20, 20 years is correct 20 yeah, years at 20s 20s oh i right, thank you thank you 20 uh, and 20 in the energy for, uh, and the interest interest in the interest interest for interest for for to know the world uh, is very important for you. Uh, no, no import. The danger is very important to know the world. Uh, uh, in my case, for example, uh, at uh, 25, 25, 30 years, at 25 and years, when uh, when my uh, nacieron, born, were born, were born my sons. Uh, the the position my my mind my interests are was was fueron diferentes. Different. 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 My my ideas was fueron fueron. Very different. Very, very, very different. Uh, because it's necessary to understand the life in, in family is very important. It's other moment. And I think is is relative the the best age. Uh, and do you you understand uh, the the this this position eh, mientras creces mientras creces okay while you grow sorry while you grow while you grow while you grow while you grow why can okay. I be the, the best way to say while you grow up can we add the up or not no no, because he's not. Uh, he's not talking just about uh, growing up. It's, he's also talking about growing as a person. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Teacher, because I... when, when you talk about while you grow up, you're being specific, Ana Claudia, between zero years to after the teenage, the after your teens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, thank you. Yes, Nicolas. No, teacher, no, no. Okay, thank you. Nothing. Thank you very much, Nicolas. Very Thank interesting. You. Could, you, could you repeat the phrase, please? Which one? La que le dijo a, a Nicolas. While, while you grow. While you grow. Okay, thank you. While okay, well, you Roxana, grow. hello. How are you? Hello, Roxana. She volunteered herself. Her. Yeah, she just did. Hello, Roxana, what tell me, I what's mean? the best age for you? Well, I think that this uh, this age, um, actually, I'm 32 years old, Cassie. Okay. Yeah, Kiro. Yeah, and I think that maybe I don't have a lot of money, but I have, I don't know, a little, a few money, and I can decide what I want or whatever. And I think that I I think I have two uh, seasons. The the best stages, stages. Stages. 
for me, uh, maybe it's when I was at the university, but I didn't have money. Okay. And now I um I need to work all day, but I have a little money, a few money, and I can do different things. And you know, I I can uh, or I have to uh, be more in depth. In depth. In depth. In depth. And, I don't know. For me. Now is the best age. Now is the best age for you? That's cool. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, actually, you know, I agree half with you because for me, um, it was my my university time, man, it was fun. I had fun. I was broke all the time, but it was fun. I literally had fun during the whole period. Eh, good memories, pretty good memories. But I remember that in that mm -hmm. time that the university was very expensive. You know, you visit the cafeteria and you need a lot of money. And now I, I think it's more expensive. Let's see, well, yeah, but um, you know, uh, as I tell you, I was broke, but at that time, well, in, when I was at the university for me, uh, a cup of coffee and at that time a smoke was all that I needed. I was cool. Study. Yeah, me too. Well, it was it was very interesting. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now uh, now I got another question also related to ish, but uh, let's see. Hold on. Text. Oh, okay, when this happens. Perfect. But before we get it, uh, 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 let me get the second attendance. And times fly. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Amber Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heria Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Chasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Thank you. Let's see, just give me a second. 
Okay, here we go. Next question for you guys. What do you think is the best age to have? What do you think is the best age to have children? Okay, this is the question, right? Never. Some of <laughs> Never? Come on. You got a beautiful son. Yeah, but I mean, in this, we everybody's got a different opinion. I want you to discuss about it, okay? And you're going to be working with somebody else. I'm going to switch the members of each group, okay? So you can have the opportunity to talk with somebody different. So let me just fix a little something here. There's one person that I need to move. Let's see. But everything is okay. Whoopsie, this is. Okay. Groups are created. Please jump in. Let's talk about it.
Sorry, teacher, I have a disconnection. No problem, my dear. I will send you to a group right now. Thank you. Very good. Job. I need to have a, a, some some things. I need to be prepared to to mm -hmm. to to have kids. A, I think that I have to be financially prepared because have kids could be a little expensive. Oh no, it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> really the cheapest cheap. thing, thing in life. <laughs> yeah, ask Nicholas about it. How many guys? How many kids do you have, Nicholas? Two, right? Three. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's fun, right, Nicholas? <laughs> it's very, it is very thirsty. And yeah, also it's very it cheap when they get sick. <laughs> well, oh, actually, you know. Yeah. It, <laughs> Stephanie and Eliana think it's very important to have children at 20 years old. No, so no, 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 he thinks that. No, that's a lie. Hey, hey, hey Nicolás, tú me has inspirado, dice. <laughs> no. Linda. No. That we, we were discussing, uh, well, Stephanie was saying that maybe 27, because maybe at that age, uh, <laughs> some people have a house, but I told her I'm 27 years old and I'm not have, I'm not have a house. I'm still living with my parents and 27 years old. So in my personal opinion, yeah, maybe after 30s, uh, I think that is, is the best age. Ah, after tip. your thirties, <laughs> let's see. I don't know. I don't really know. I just have one son. How many years did you have? Uh, did you have when you? How many? When he, when he how was, old were you when you how had old your were son? You? Thank you. Please tell me. Ask how me. old were you when your son was born? Twenty-two. I. Very young. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was fun at that time, believe me. <laughs> yeah, I was I was pretty young at the time, but it was cool. Yeah, because you you could enjoy with your with your with your baby and do a lot of things. <laughs> Maybe for that. That that's something that I think. But if you have your kids young, you can do a lot of kind of things with them. Yeah, you know something pretty interesting. Uh, I'm 42. My son is right now in his third year of university. So two more years, and I'm free. <laughs> so in that, uh, looking at it uh, from that point of view. It's cool, but uh, looking at it on the other side is complex because I mean, when I when my son was born, I was still finishing. I was on my last semester at the university. Uh, Brock, and let's see, uh, I was I was working but part time 
part-time jobs, I mean, quite informal jobs. Uh, for at least one year, let's see, one year and a half was pretty hard. Then when I was like 24, I got a position with the government, so things went like easier, but oh, complex, complex. I mean, I was an experience on, on that side of life. And I mean, I, you have to, to, to grow faster. I mean, in order to face the type of responsibilities you encounter on your life. So it, it's, I mean, it's, it's different. It's pretty different. How old were you when your kids were born? Where, when your first kid was born, Nicholas? I'm sorry, teacher. How old were you when your first kid was born? 25 years old. Well, he was a little bit older than me. That means more prepared towards life. You, you teacher. You, you. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, I, 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 the opportunity in this moment is, 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 se dio, se dio, lo, existió la oportunidad. The opportunity presents, presented the itself. The opportunity present, the opportunity present, uh, I, for example, uh, I, I, I am working in, in, in the, I have uh, I finished the my my study yeah and the university and I have work I I I I will I, I, I will I estuve trabajando estuve trabajo I worked just I like work I worked I work and uh, my stability in my, my economic stability. Uh, is no bad. Is no bad. Yeah. Is and, present. Uh, no, in past. Was was. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Was no bad, and my wife and me uh, decidimos. Decided. Decided have the first son. Uh, well, uh, he. If the first year uh, we are we are our companions, we were living together. We were living in together. Uh, the second year we uh, we married with civil civil marriage. Yeah, and marriage. the first in the first in the third. Year, uh, we we are married of the church by the with, church by, by the, the church. church by the church and lo demás the lo rest demás, the rest is history history yeah I know what you mean yeah it's well it's cool. Yeah, it's very interesting, but I mean, ooh, the age, the age to get married. That's actually, that's a tricky question, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of us yeah. have to face the, the, <laughs> the circumstances. And actually, it's better when you have planned the stuff, you know, and you got married before and you have planned everything, you got your stability, you you are really really into the the idea of or making a, a home but i mean in some situations things are a little bit slightly different right yeah and how many kids do you plan to have eliana five six no <laughs> uh no I don't, I don't know i i don't think about it yet but maybe 
How old are you? I'm sorry. 27. Oh. It's the moment. It's the moment, Ileana. <laughs> yeah. You, you, are, you are in the right point of your life. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, I have to find someone to, to wants to, to have kids right now. Uh, oh, there is plenty. The there is plenty. There is plenty. <laughs> but maybe two kids? Maybe two kids? Yeah. I, oh. yeah. In my case, one one was enough. What is enough? It's yeah. very thirsty. It's very thirsty. Uh, what do you think uh, yeah. for for how? Oh, it's for... time to go back. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Okay. Bye. Okay, okay, okay. This topic, wow, got very interesting. Uh, we're gonna make this fast because I need to explain some grammar and then we're gonna come back to conversation. Because believe it or not, it's 9.30 already and time flies. Okay, let's see, let's see. Now let's ask first the people who's got kids. Ada, tell me, for you, what do you think? What do you think uh, is the best age to have children? For me, teacher, the best uh, for me, when you had the finishes your degree and work, <laughs> to get a, uh, have a, with the family, and at home, a uh, the children. And I think in the, in the after, 25 years. After being 25, okay. Yeah, teacher. Is is a uh, more responsibility the children? <laughs> yeah, it's a big responsibility. Yeah. For yes. sure. Okay, let's see who else got kids here. Uh, 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 uh. Heidi, tell me, what about you? Hello. Sorry, I agree with Ada. Maybe early 20s. We were talking that if you have your kids in early age, well, you can see a lot of their stages in life. You can see their your grandsons and most of their life. Then if you have them on your 30s. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. If you if you get them like in your late thirties, man, you go drop them, pick them up at high school, and they're gonna ask them, "Hey, that's your grandma." Exactly. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, interesting. Now let's ask people who don't have kids. Let's see, uh, 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 Stephanie, what do you think? Uh, around <laughs> well, I was talking with. My partners that say around the 10, 28, 29, but they say there is too early, early, but no, I think 27, 27 is the good one. <laughs> okay, Liana. <laughs> but I am 30, 30, and until 28 and 30. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Jacqueline, what do you think? You got kids, right? Yes. I have three. Okay. Tell me, what do you think is the best age for having kids? Uh, in my opinion, the best age is early 25. Okay, around 25. Around 25, yeah. Because you have the opportunity to, to watch them grow up and you have energy. <laughs> to take care of them uh, well, but you have to be a, a good job because in our day it's very expensive have children. Okay, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Kids <laughs> are expensive a yes. lot. Education, health and recreation and all the things that they need it happens if you are responsible, but some people isn't, yeah? Yeah, 
of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And now let's see. Roxana, tell me, Roxana, what do you think? Well, in my opinion, uh, we don't have a specific age to be father or mother. Maybe when you have a um, safe, entre comillas, safe work, or maybe when you decide to stay uh, with a good person, maybe. Or okay. maybe when, I don't know, when you have a budget and you think okay. that you are prepared for that because it's really expensive when you don't have a budget for that. So if, in my case, for example, uh, my kid is a boy. So for boy, the clothes are really expensive and the kids are eating a lot all the time. So yeah, they, need... they usually have that bad habit, you know? They yeah. Eat. So I need money. If I don't have enough, I prefer uh, spend money and in him, on, ¿cómo sería? En él? On, sí, en on him. him. On him. And spend, maybe spend money on me in another time. But okay. I think that it's, it's not a specific age. So if it's when you are prepared for that, for money, for work, for mental health or whatever. Okay, wow, too deep. Frank. Never. <laughs> Frank, what do you think? Do you no. have kids, Frank? Uh, no, no, teacher, not yet. How old are you? Um, 29. Okay, then tell me, what do you think is the best age to have children? Well, um, between 30 uh, and never. Yeah, <laughs> mainly. Uh, no, as, as the other uh, teammates said, uh, I think that there's no one specific age to, to have kids. I mean, I think that that is a very personal decision and every single person should know when is the right time to have kids. I think that uh, you just need to think in your physical health and obviously in your mental health, right? Because obviously there is an age in which uh, your physical health, I don't, I don't know, decreases. Declines? Declines a bit, right? So I need, I think that that could be considered to, to make that kind of decision. Oh yeah, well, well, not me, not me. I'm I'm in the best age right now. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna change a little bit because I want to explain something uh, slightly different to you. Well, actually, we had already seen the topic, but according to my lesson plan today, we are supposed to cover that that topic. And let me share with you. Oopsie, Daisy, where's that thing? Just a second. It's here and then ta, 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 ta. here we go. Okay, reported speech, yes, no questions. Introduced by if or whether. Okay. Look at the examples in the box. Then complete the exercises below. We have a couple of exercises that we are going to do. When reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shifts back. Just no question. This type of question is reported by using ask, want to know, plus if or whether, plus the close. Okay, let's see. Simple present, simple past. Customer, 
Is there a special discount for this product? In the reported speech, the customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. The customer asked if there was a special discount for the product. You can use it the same way, okay? Customer, can this be purchased in the UK or only in the US? Reported speech, the customer asked if the product could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. Simple past changes into past perfect. Remember, in this case, in the first one, the simple present changes into simple past. Simple past becomes past perfect. Was I charged for chipping? The customer asked if he had been charged for chipping. Did the package arrive? The customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. Now, will the future becomes would. Will the laptop be delivered on Monday? Reported speech. The customer inquired if the laptop will be delivered on Monday. Customer, will the shipping cost increase with premium delivery or not? Reported speech. The customer asked if the shipping cost will increase with the premium delivery. Now, what we need to check out here is this. Remember, uh, when it is in present, it shifts back. If it's in past, if it's in present to simple past. If it's in simple past, it becomes past perfect. If it's will, it becomes will. You ask, you use ask or want to know in past, of course. You use if or you use whether, okay? Whichever of them. This one got the same, in this case, they express the same idea, okay? So you can use either one, no problem. You can say, uh, like in this case, the customer asked if there was a special discount, the customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. Just remember something. If you listen, sometimes when people use weather, at the end, they say, the customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product or not. When people use this, sometimes they add right here, at the end, they add or not, okay? So weather is considered like affirmative. And that's why at the end, some people include a negative. In the case of if, no problem. Now, this specific topic, don't worry, we are going to practice, practice it on sentences and on situations tomorrow, okay? I have it on my lesson plan for tomorrow. So relax, we are going to review it tomorrow. Check it out, check the information. Perhaps if, you, if any question arises, I will gladly help you tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to use the board in order to, to, to do some exercises and some examples. It's pretty simple. Just remember the verb in past. If it's present, it turns into simple past. If it's past, it turns into past perfect. If it's future, it becomes will. Okay? If it's can, remember, sometimes can change for could, okay? Like I ask, uh, uh, I ask perhaps Ana Claudia, Ana Claudia, can you turn on your microphone? So Eliana says, oh, the teacher asked, thank you Ana Claudia, the teacher <laughs> asked if Ana Claudia could turn on her microphone, okay? Could. Remember, can becomes could. Up to here, are we okay? Are we clear? Remember, yeah, sure. tomorrow, tomorrow I will give you more examples. Don't worry. Because now, after we have that little grammar point, I would like to, 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 oh man. 
Now this thing about age is driving me nuts. Okay, now. Now I got a, que a very personal question, but it's going to be interesting. Okay. The question we are going to be discussing right now, it's uh, completely different. We are going to forget about age, okay? Now, personal habits. Do you think, do you have any annoying habits? Hmm. Everybody got little quirks, right? Some of us do some things that perhaps for us are normal, but for some other people are not. Like, uh, let's see, in my case, annoying habits. Well, I sometimes I tend to be distracted by reading. That's a big problem of mine because I mean I sit and some if a conversation is not interesting for me, when I come to realize I have taken out my cell phone and I'm reading a book. That's that can be annoying for some people. Let's see what else. Hmm. Oh, this, I tend to do this a lot. I tend to touch my nose or perhaps I am playing with my tongue like this. And for some people, perhaps that's like, man, what is he doing? Uh, uh, I know uh, I have a friend that he's got a habit that is kind of weird, you know? He wear glasses as I do, but instead of pushing them up like this, he uses the, the middle finger. So whenever he's, Pushing his glasses up, yeah, it, it looks kind of weird, right? Because some people get like, what? What is he doing? So let's talk about that. Do you have any annoying habits? Do you guys? Jump into the jump into the rooms and let's talk about it. You will have a couple of minutes, just like three minutes for this. It's very short. We'll say good Fredo, let me send you to a group. Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. I'm really apologies for that inconvenience, but I'm no back. problem, no problem. I understand you. I mean, it's been giving problems to a lot of people. Yes, I know, teacher. I know. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, I got a coworker who's got the same problem. Actually, the system kicked him out because of internet connection. Yeah, I don't know why, but. Now they reestablish the service and I'm back. They're back. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'll send you to a group right now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, Maria Alejandra. Hi, <laughs> teacher. Oh, Maria Alejandra is always smiling. You know, that pisses me off. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I come back. Um, Maria Alejandra is a happy person, teacher. Yeah. I don't like happy people, you know? Yeah, it's, an, it's annoying. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. annoying. It's annoying. You know, I'm a stress. I'm a stress all day long. And whenever I talk to her, I say like, hi, Maria Alejandra, how are you? She's always smiling. Come on. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> Only have the opportunity to talk in the night. At night. At night. Because I don't have an opportunity to talk with a different person than my family all the day. <laughs> yeah, you see, she's always happy. Okay, guys, I'll let you work. I'll let you work. <laughs> Is you, Heidi? The same as you, I guess. <laughs> which one is it which one is it i'm curious i'm curious it's, tell me, it's tell me, that tell me. we don't know how to say it teacher what is we, it uh, the bread the sweet bread 
We put it in oh, the cup. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't even, don't even, oh, mention that. Come on, Sorry, teacher. Don't even represent it. Do, do you like, do you like to oh, yeah. The bread no. with coffee. Yeah, oh, so dip, chocolate. Dip, oh, come dip on. on the coffee. No, believe it or dip, not. Dip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, believe it or not, I cannot even wash it. <laughs> I don't know why. That's that's a bad thing of, of me. Because, I mean, if somebody is doing it, automatically I cannot restrain myself. Really? I mean, yeah, I cannot. I mean, if, if my wife does it, I mean, uh, in front of me, right <laughs> at the moment, I just turn away. I don't stand it. I don't stand it at all. <laughs> I don't know why. But in my case, in my case, that's uh, and she makes fun of me because she tells me it's normal. A lot of people does it. And I'm like, Ooh, yeah, but that's what we are talking about. We're saying that we do it at home with our family or friends of, or, or close. Yeah, yeah. Friends. Most people do that with uh -huh. close friends. I mean, people that you you trust, I mean, you feel comfortable with. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, please never feel comfortable in front of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> please don't, because I cannot stand it at all. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I, I better I better go to another group. <laughs> Susana, what's about? Oh, no, Susana. Ana Claudia asked too much. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know. Susana, please tell us. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm not gonna look. Uh, Heidi, tell us. That's no, no, Heidi. No. Oh. Teacher, we want to invite you to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Continue, please. What's the habit? Uh, uh, to put into the cup of coffee uh, a piece of sweet bread. <laughs> deep, Sorry, deep. teacher. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, guys. Well, some of some pan. of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, wow. you mentioned what? it again. Oh. Really nice, do really that. Nice. Claudia, they, they say people from Santa Ana does that all the time. Exactly. I don't know. We do that all the time. I do it. Yeah. When I'm from Santa Ana and I do it. Yes, me yeah. too. Me too. So that's why I never go to Santa Ana, man. <laughs> I can I cannot that's that, that's something that I was explaining to Heidi. I cannot wash it and I cannot restrain myself. <laughs> I mean, if somebody is doing that, automatically I turn my face away. <laughs> I know from Santa Ana t-shirt, but I do that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, then, I guess, it's not you guys, the ones who got the annoying habit. It's me. Because a lot of people does it, but me. In my case, I don't stand it. I cannot even wash it. For me, it's like, oh, terrible. Yeah, so it's you see... Terrible. 
<laughs> yeah, in my case, we find it like, delicious. <laughs> oh no, I cannot even He's imagine. He's just imagine that. Uh, when you don't, 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 Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Ana Claudia, tell me uh -huh. another one, please. Okay. For me, uh, I think it's my annoying habit is I like the toilet paper to roll it, to replace it in one position where the paper just start rolling out, coming down. I don't know, coming from the back down. And I oh, got upset when someone at home replaced it in the other position, when the paper is in front of you, coming uh, in front of you. <laughs> That's why I'm okay. like, must be in the, the position, in the different position. Uh, so it, mu it must be in the position that you say. Period. It's because, no, it's because the paper we use, the toilet paper we use is strong. Just when you have those type of paper toilet, no, paper toilet, paper, come on, paper toilet, toilet, toilet paper, paper. paper, sorry, toilet paper, they are like skinny, like thinny, so they go, they go in the other position in order to not, uh, eh, ay, no se rompa. <laughs> Yeah, really. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, you are you are special on that. Okay, cool. Fernando, what about you? Uh, I think that my annoying habit is I am mad easily when I see a disorder in my house. Ah. Yeah, so yeah for, for my family is annoying. Yeah, it pisses it pisses you up if there's if you go if you get home and find things are not in their proper place. Yeah. yeah. I understand you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, um, uh, Frank, what about you? Okay, um I have just, just a few annoying habits, <laughs> but uh, one of them is kind of weird. I told my partners that every time that I have a, a pen in my hand, I start to, to draw everywhere, even in my <laughs> hand. If I not have something to draw, I mean, like a notebook or something, I. I paint my hand, I don't know why, but I, I start to paint my hand and I finish with my whole hand painted. So that's kind of weird, but I think that's- That's your thing, that's your thing. Yeah, okay, that's my cool. thing, yes. Okay, let's see, Rebecca, what about you? I think a bad habit that I have is that I cannot put my cell phone away. I need to have myself all the time in my hand and 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 I need to 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 be seen his screen either if I have a message or whatever thing if I checking um, it out friend, checking it out checking it out my cell phone okay either, well, yeah either, yeah either if I yeah. if I talking to you face to face I need to check in myself <laughs> oh, interesting well, guys, it's time for me to get the final attendance before I get it. And thank you very much. It was pretty interesting. I hope you enjoy the class as much as I did. Believe me, I have had fun tonight. It was cool. Uh, let me get the final attendance. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be working on the manual. We have a conversation to check and a couple of extra activities. Let's see, guys. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Amarilia Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. 
Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Uh, Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Hey, guys. Pretty nice class. Thank you very much for being part of it. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good tomorrow. Uh, good night. Take care, guys. Good night, good night everyone. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Let's see, let's see. Jacqueline, hello, how are you? I'm very tired, teacher. Okay, don't worry, I won't take that much of your time, okay? Relax. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, first of all, the, this session 101, as you know, they are created, so you can ask about perhaps any topic that has been taught that is not clear for you, or perhaps uh, there's an area, in a specific area that you would like me to build, to help you with, to give you some pointers or something like that. And if not, I have something for you. So tell me. Mm, well, teacher, I didn't have the opportunity to, to think on that. In, and take a list of some specific things that are difficult for me. But if you had prepared something to me, it's okay. Okay, well, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me check it out. I got something that could be helpful right here, let's see. Give me just a second. Oh, I mean, here. This is what we are going to do. Uh, in your case, uh, I think I think you are doing good, but I would like you to improve. Mm -hmm. I would like you to improve a little bit on vocabulary. What do you think? Vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. Yes, vocabulary. I, I mean, vocabulary. Yes. Yeah, vocabulary is always good to, to to get extra. Tell me, are you working on your cell phone or in your uh, no? Or in I'm computer? On my computer. Computer. Okay. Now I just sent you a little something. I need you to copy, paste, and save that mm -hmm. because you are going to be using it. Got it. Okay. English culture, yeah. Okay, now, what you're going to do there, let me, uh, that's, that's okay. gonna help you, that's gonna help you to improve on vocabulary, because while we listen, we when we make the, 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 the link between what we listen, what we see, I mean, we are, and we put it in practice through the exercises, we get uh, extra, we improve. Okay. Now yes. I got now I got something else for you when it comes to vocabulary. Let me see where is it? I got it here. Give me just a second because I'm gonna get it for you. Uh, I need to get it right here. Okay, I'm gonna share with you. Voy a compartir pantalla. 
Ok. Lo que tenemos acá es el curso. Así le aparece a usted, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. You got it exactly like this. Ok. If you yeah. come, veamos, no, verán. Staff must be a learner. Okay. You watch it like this, exactly. If you come down here, you get centro de ayuda. Can you see it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. If you come to centro de ayuda, you're gonna get here. Voy a aparecer acá. You come uh -huh. all the way down to recursos académicos. Uh -huh. Here you come to vocabulary. Vocabulary. You oh. say, look, look mm. at this. You got places mm. around the city, the classroom, adjectives, fruits and vegetables at the supermarket. Aquí el vocabulario está wow. por temas. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, money and banking. Mm -hmm. Okay, feeling sick, symptoms, injuries. Mm -hmm. This is yes. medical and dental care. Es usted de ahí. Muchísimo vocabulario. Yeah, a lot. I so, didn't know that teacher. Okay, well, that's an extra that we have with as uh, English Corporativo have uh, for you guys to, to improve. And I mean, they did. if you get into a topic, especialmente, mm. eh, yo le recomendaría ir buscar eh, el vocabulario de cosas que usted hace a diario o ve a diario. ¿Por qué? Porque usted ve el vocabulario y a lo largo del día coja no, cuatro o cinco palabras y trate de andar pensando, oh, esta palabra, luego ponerla en oraciones en diferentes contextos, ¿ok? De esa manera se vuelve más práctico. Yeah, thank you, teacher, for your advice. Yeah, it could help you. I mean, it, it's another tool that we have. And I mean, you can take advantage of it, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yeah, exactly. And you can benefit, which yeah. is important. Yeah, and the purpose is improve day by day. Yeah, yeah, of and course. I mean, that's the goal. That's the goal we have here. Exactly. The meta. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, and um, what I would recommend you is check it out, and let's see in one week. Let me know. If it's working for you, or if perhaps you would like a different type of exercise, let me know. I'm here to help you and I got more. I got plenty more exercises for you to practice, okay? Thank you so much, teacher, to help me. No and problem, I, no problem. I, I uh, will check uh, the topics that you recommend me and I also will check the videos and do the activities. Okay, and just one little I, thing. Okay. Just one little thing. Remember, you work, you are a mother, you are a student at night. Mm -hmm. Every specific activity that you sit, no more than 10 minutes. No more. No. If you spend more than 10 minutes for more than one activity, it's not going to be productive for you because you are tired, you are stressed. Okay? then you're going to be pushing yourself. The idea is for you to make it like something simple, something like, okay, I did it, I understood, I understood it, that's it. That's but it. If you keep on pushing yourself, you are not going to get not even half of what you want, and it's going to be frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> the, idea is, the idea is for you to be getting small, small tips, but steady. Constant. Uh, okay? Constant, yeah. So, no more than 10 minutes, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. I will uh, follow A your pleasure. advices. And only I, I forgot something, teacher. In the previous um, activities on the platform, I couldn't finish um, exercise number I don't know. It was about the reported speech. And okay. I don't know if that uh, will affect me, my grade. Let's see. Let's see. Now I need to check it. Uh, give me just a and second. And sincerely, I... I didn't try it again because okay, I let's... tried uh, many times in one way, in another one, but it wasn't possible. Okay, just give me a second because I'm, I am checking your grades. Please. You are 
and Jacqueline, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got just in section one, you got 80. Okay, let's do something, uh, if you don't mind. Why don't you check it out, which is the exercise tomorrow, send me a text, and I will help you with the exercise, okay? Okay, Send me a thank text, you. but directly on the WhatsApp, not to the group, directly, directly to me, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, yes, teacher. Perfect. Thank you for your help. To help no, me. no, a pleasure. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye.